in high school, too. We're now joined by Grant Miller, former Baylor offensive lineman, and you never know what's going to happen as far as his future. The draft is next Thursday and Friday, Saturday. Grant joins us. He's also going to be a part of that barbecue kickoff uh, as a judge, I think, this weekend. Grant, thanks for your time. Let's start with this. What does the spring game mean to a player? Uh, I think the spring game means to a player is just a uh, it's just an opportunity to kind of go in and show that what you've improved on and how you've changed as as a player from last season. I mean, I think coaches, uh, teammates, and even the fans kind of have a have a picture in their head of kind of what a guy is after a season, and you know, a lot of work goes on behind the scenes between when the bowl game ends in December or January all the way up until uh, April when the spring games are held. So I think this is an opportunity for a lot of guys who maybe have sat behind guys or guys who, you know, didn't put up the, the kind of numbers they wanted to last year, or even guys who had great seasons last year to kind of go uh, come out new season 2023 and kind of look uh, reestablished and, and kind of show what uh, a little forecast of what's to come in the fall. Grant, uh, you are preparing for the NFL draft right now. Are you preparing as a guard? Are, you pre- are they position flexing you to center or anything else? What uh, what have you been working on these last few months? Uh, I mean, these last few months, uh, you know, combine and pro day training was different. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a different type of training than what you're used to at a, in a college program. Um, but in terms of uh, in terms of position training. I've really been training at pretty much all of the positions, uh, mostly focusing on center and guard, uh, a little bit of long snapping here and there too, just anything to uh, show that I've got great position uh, versatility so I can fit in with uh, you know whatever team gives me a call next weekend. Grant, you, di- you double-dipped on the All-Star games, you Pro Day, all that stuff. Just you know, compared to what your expectations were, what has the draft process been like? I know it's a dream for a lot of guys, and the big dream's the one that's that's still to come, getting on an NFL roster. But just going through the process in general, how is it compared to what you expected, and have you been able to enjoy it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've definitely enjoyed it for sure. It's, it's different being away from your teammates. Uh, I mean, you kind of feel like you're on your own a little bit. You're used to seeing 100 guys, your coaches every single day. And then you already kind of get a taste of what it's like to, to be a professional, you know, in the off season, not necessarily being around the 10, 15 guys in your position room and your old line coach and your head coach, you know, the whole nine yards where, where that's concerned. Uh, you know, I'd say the biggest thing for me and the process that, uh, you know, I kind of expected, but I wasn't really, uh, necessarily ready for, for, uh, you know, what was to come was it was a lot of flying around. Uh, a lot of, you know, get a phone call and then, you know, you're traveling ac- across the country. You know, there really is no set schedule and, you know, things will come up completely out of left field that, you know, you got to get on the phone with this person or that coach or, you know, like I said, fly across the country, play in multiple bowl games, you know, whatever it is that can that can uh, can help you out, uh, you know, can kind of throw, throw your schedule sideways, you know, in a blink of an eye. What have most of the teams, either you or your agent, have talked to said what to expect? Uh, I mean, they, they've told me to expect to be ready to play, uh, you know, multiple positions. You know, obviously come in and, uh, you know, can, can compete for a spot. And a lot of that, you know, is, is prioritized on being able to save teams money, especially at the offensive line position. So, the more uh, versatile you are as offensive lineman, I mean, the better chance you have of getting drafted or making a team. So, you know, and the other thing I mostly hear is, that, you know, just come in ready to compete and, uh, you know, don't get all caught up in, you know, where where it is you get drafted or how high or whatever. You know, the thing is, is you know, you're not in college anymore. You kind of got to be ready to be a professional. So, you know, whatever way you get your foot in the door, uh, you know, you can't spend too much time being too excited about it or too disappointed about it because at the end of the day it's a job and everybody's got to go in and prove themselves you know as rookies this summer grant uh when you're not um what have you done to kind of like relax a little bit chill from the end of the season to getting ready for the nfl draft you gotta you gotta get back to zero somehow uh yeah i mean you know there's not a whole lot of not a whole lot of downtime but you know when i do get some downtime you know i'll i'll hop on the playstation with you know, either some of my teammates or some, some friends from back home I have from high school, 
Uh, I think MLB the show just came out recently. I'm a I'm a baseball fan, so you know I've kind of been uh, grinding my uh, Diamond Dynasty teams on uh, MLB the show, and you know I'll, I'll catch some shows on, on Netflix every now and again as well. Grant, you were able to experience a little bit of everything during your your time at Baylor uh, championship, and then you know everybody knows last year was not what you all signed back up for and, and wanted in the end. But uh, just reflecting back on the time that you did have in Waco, uh, how do you feel about it, and you know what will you take with you moving forward? Uh, you know, I feel really good about about my time in Waco. Uh, you know, I think it's like I said the day that I that I committed that you know in a lot of ways it was a dream come true to throw on the the green and gold, uh, you know, just just like my dad did. Uh, you know, now my brother's got a chance to as well. You know, all all of my family members kind of went to Baylor, and I didn't. Uh, it didn't necessarily shake out like that for me coming out of uh, high school. So, I mean, even today, I still kind of think about you know everything that we accomplished here as a team over the last two years here at Baylor. All while I got to kind of play at my my dream school is really special to me. It's still kind of uh, you know surreal that all that you know, kind of happen. So, you know, I, I'm going to look back on my time to, at Baylor fondly. You know, I'll look forward to, you know, coming back to the spring games and the homecomings and, you know, all, all the big games because, you know, I know I know we'll have plenty of more big games, big-time bowl games and everything. Uh, you know, I'll look forward to coming back, maybe seeing some of my former teammates, seeing the guys, uh, you know, that I played, played with, younger guys come up, get better. You know, the whole nine yards, I'll look forward to that. You were there. Grant, uh, Coach Aranda earlier this year, and he alluded to some maybe dysfunction at times throughout the year, whether it was with coaching staff and or players. But he mentioned he was too lenient. Did you ever kind of recognize that in some ways? At Did the locker room recognize that? Was that a part of what was at least in the air? Um. I mean, I, I didn't really feel like it necessarily just because, I mean, I always felt like I had a good relationship with Coach Aranda. I felt like we were always on the same page, and I didn't feel much of those issues in the offensive line room. But I, And I, I will say this. I think for anybody who knows or spoke to Coach Aranda, I mean, he's a, he's a great guy. I mean, I think he's a, a good man with good morals, even better football coach as well. Um, you know, some people could could take that, you know, generosity or kindness for for weakness so i don't think that that's necessarily uh, an issue that you may find rare when you're dealing with somebody like coach aranda but i mean i think it all is you know based off the team and the roster you have you know it's hard to build championship teams year in year out because every year it's a new ch- new challenge new team uh uh you know new faces every single year so you know, I think year to year, you know, the coaches also have to have to change with that, and that's why you, it's so hard to see teams to, to win, you know, four or five, six times in a row. Your brother Evan is now a walk-on on the team. Uh, your thoughts communicating with him and, and, and his opportunity at Baylor? As you mentioned, it's a family affair. Uh, yeah, you know, Evan is really excited to be on the team. He's, he's playing with the, the Jacks, the outside linebackers right now, um, you know, you know, just like me, I think Evan was always looking forward to hopefully put on the green and gold that at some point, you know, we would go to all the games together, you know, for, you know, probably the last 20 years. Uh, but, you know, I'm excited for him, too. I'm excited to be able to turn on the TVs on Saturdays, you know, watch him play, uh, you know, play in the spring game. Uh, you know, I think it's something that, you know, my whole family as well as Evan is, is pretty excited for. And I think Evan's excited that, you know, uh, he had the opportunity to, to land at Baylor. All right, so let's get to why we also had you on. We have had Mike Singletary, who's going to be a judge at the barbecue competition on Saturday morning, and uh, Blake Blackmar, who you know is known to cook things on his big, huge smoker. Are you right. a judge? Are you cooking? Are you both? And, and, and kind of the event where the former players, alums, letter winners get together and, and have a chance to have a kind of a private time with Coach Aranda and his staff. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to the barbecue uh, competition for sure. I mean, I'm still an offensive lineman, so, you know, I like to say I don't get to be a 300-plus pounds by accident. So, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited. To, you know, this is my first time kind of getting to be a part of the festivities of the spring game and stuff, kind of on the other side of it instead of playing in the game. So, 
you know, I'm excited to see, uh, you know, the alums who decide to come out, you know, judge the barbecue competition. You know, I'm hoping a lot of good food. Uh, you know, I'm excited for the, for all of this. Grant, who's going to win? Uh, I mean, you uh, you know, Blackmar, we, he's kind of our 365 sports tailgate guru, right? You know that, right? So you need to kind of make sure if you can find a way to lean his way, we'd appreciate it. We, we're not going to pay you under the table or anything. No NIL money. <laughs> But just know that he is he is our favorite. Oh yeah, I mean I you know I I haven't tried anybody's uh, barbecue personally going into this, so I feel like I've I've got a pretty clean slate uh, that I'll be pretty fair. But you know I do I, I have heard the the street rumors going around about uh, what uh, Black Mark can cook up. He look I, I don't want to uh, you know taint your opinion, but he's he's gifted. So um. <laughs> yeah, there's others though. Yeah. So there's some guy from back in the day that kind of just pulled off yeah. the big upset last year. So, yeah, they they have not allowed me to be a judge yet. Um, you know, uh, I don't know why. You know why? Because everybody else needs to have at least a portion of it too. Well, I look. No, no, I know how to look. I know how to do these things. Okay. I'm, I'm I've done it many times. I'm I'm quite good at it. Uh, so Grant, do you want the, the the brisket? Is that the key to you, or is they're going to have chicken wings thrown into the mix this year? Ribs, which one's your favorite? Uh, I mean, I'm one of the most excited to try try the brisket, probably. Mm. I mean, I think if you cook up a good brisket, I'll be pretty persuaded by that. Thank you, Grant. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate your time. Great. Uh, it was fun. Enjoy it. And remember now, Grant Miller committed to us live on the show. Yes, he did. And we'll always appreciate that from Vanderbilt to Baylor. Grant Miller with us, former Baylor offensive lineman, and good luck with him uh, following the, the next week as far as the draft and what may happen with his opportunities in the National Football League. Uh, when we come back, we're going to hear.